today I have a different kind of video for you guys. Well, not that different, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, I'm going to flip through my old practice journal, my very first one. The one that got me started in all this madness. <laughs> um, I uploaded a video on this already. Um, it was my very first video on the channel uh, where I just flipped through it. But it was filmed with my phone, I didn't have a tripod to hold it steady. So it's kind of messy and you can't really see what's going on. So I thought it would be a fun idea to film me flipping through it again uh, with my commentary with it. Um, with my reactions, uh, because I haven't flipped through it this in a while. I just kind of flipped through it recently to make sure all my personal information was covered. But besides that, I haven't looked at it for a long time and I thought it would be fun to feel my reaction of it and I think you guys might like it too but yeah anyways let's go to tabletop mode and I'm going to flip through and you know just see where it goes okay okay guys so here we are in tabletop mode and this is a better view of my rectus journal I had the duct tape version, which you can kind of see through all the stuff I did to the cover. Um, so yeah, let's just open it up and take a look. Okay, okay. so I started this May 10th, 2014, um, which is about four years ago. Yeah, I added this little bookmark and it has these buttons sewn on and I did that myself. This is covering some personal information, just, you know. Instructions. These pages are a little boring. <laughs> I didn't do much to them. And this is where the real prompts start. You're gonna see a lot of song lyrics throughout this book. <laughs> I'm sorry, well not really, but you know. So these are real socks, <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. I just put on some old socks, put glue on the page and I stood on them, um, yeah. Oh, I love this. I painted this thing with um, coffee and afterwards I thought it looked like a country, so I made it into a fantasy country. Oh, I remember this. I poked holes in this page not using a pencil, but using my bow and arrow, because this is me. That's cool. Draw fat and thin lines. Handprints. <laughs> wow, this is very bright. <laughs> it's even brighter than on camera, I think. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but I dedicated this page to Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock from the Big Bang Theory. Throw something. I think that's a very neat idea. I might steal my own idea from my Rectus Journal in color with using a straw. Leaves. Okay, so this right side, that's one of my absolute favorites, it still is. When I did this, back like three or four years ago, I um, wanted to do something original and I finally thought of something, I posted it online and I got so many reactions and likes, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, I drew this police line, do not cross, and then if you look behind it, there's a dead, bloody body. <laughs> and I still think this is really cool. So, yeah, my favorite. 
By the way, um, in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite is, your favorite page. Um, I'd be really interested in knowing that, so let me know. Draw lines. I chose to be on the train because I took the train quite often. <laughs> Garfield in a bowl of lasagna. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this I really like this one too. It says chew on this and I cut out this little piece and gave it to this android guy as a napkin. That's pretty funny. And this of course the Apple logo. <laughs> My funnel, crumple, paper airplane. These are a lot of pages that you you're supposed to cut out stuff, and so they're they're kind of messy, but you know that's okay. And here it says to wrap something, and I cut out a circle and made a burrito. I wonder what I used for this tongue painting. Should, would it be Skittles? I don't know. Might be. Hmm. Write one word over and over. Always. The word I chose from Harry Potter. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> Tie a string to the spine of the book and swim wildly. I chose to do it like this. It's all over the spine. And I went crazy with this. I love doing them. It was a lot of fun. I could have chosen a more colorful string though. Yeah. This, I think, yeah, it says the date right there. I think this was the ver very first page that I did in my Rectus journal. And um, it was also the first time to ever use watercolors. Um, yeah, I really like this page. It's, it's cool. Which is kind of weird that I still remember what my first page was, but you know, it was quite special to me. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Compose this page and watch it deteriorate. I just cut off the top strip of this. I don't know how well you can see it, but I buried it in the in the garden or something and I glued it back in after a week or so. <laughs> Do a really ugly drawing. I drew a teratoma, which is a kind of tumor that is, you know, kind of weird. Don't look it up if you're squeamish. But yeah, I drew that because I think teratoma, teratomas are interesting. Let's say that. Sticky things. I cheated. I use stickers like I think 95% of Rectus Journal users. <laughs> paper chain. I redid this page so many times and I still don't like it, um, but yeah, some pages are just going to be like that. <laughs> oh, I forgot I drew this. Okay, if you don't recognize these three dinosaurs, I suggest that you go look up the dinosaur song. Um, it's really funny, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> you know, after you're done watching this video, look it up. Dinosaur, dinosaur song, it's really funny. Test page, I used all kinds of stuff. I even used nail polish, I can smell it. <laughs> yeah. Drip something. 
this one is another one of my favorites. It took me a very long time to do this one. I uh, I'd sewn in all these buttons and the color, the mouth, a bow, the hairs, and even a little flower. Um, it's really hard to sew on paper, but I did it, and I think it's really cute. It's really fun. So, yeah. A random newspaper, which was not so random because it had a piano and a rose, which is awesome. Stamps. These are not actually stamps from my mail, but they're Australian. My brother used to collect stamps and these were gifted from my uncle who lives in uh, Australia. So I used all these leftover stamps. And I think they look really, really awesome. There's some really cool ones there. Ah, I still use this. I still have the same iPod as I did four years ago. <laughs> That's weird. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is! Okay, so <laughs> I kept the receipt from buying this exact journal. It's right here. It says that I bought it on May 10th, 2014. I bought it in Texas while I lived in the States. Um, and I glued it and I kept it. I paid $15. <laughs> That's cool. I did all these things, I did the cover, the title page, the instructions, and the copyright page, as you've been able to see in the beginning. Page for good thoughts. <laughs> Life is tough, but so are you. Well, that's right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I used, made prints using a potato and then I drew a hot potato from a song from the Wiggles, of all things. Yeah. <laughs> this is all in pieces, which I did myself. I didn't make a, a friend do that to my book because it's my book, I do whatever I want. Yeah. Write carelessly. Random items, which I think are pretty random. <laughs> oh, I remember being so nervous to do this one. It says to put this uh, page in the pocket, in, in your pocket, in the washing machine, which I did. And I was so nervous if it actually came out or just came out as a some pulp or just disappear altogether. But it actually it it, it survived pretty well. I th I think that's very cool. <laughs> a little tea bag. <laughs> it still smells. That's cool. It still smells. In a good way, not a bad, rotten way. <laughs> oh, I love this page too. Well, I like the idea of it. Maybe the execution not so much, but I really like the idea. Whoop. There we go. This I did give to my family. Um, well, this this page. I needed another page all of myself because I didn't have enough space in the entire book yet. Um, but I did let people make some drawings. Pocket lint. I don't know how you could fill this page with with pocket lint. This is is basically all I was able to get at the time. I remember, but yeah, it's it's a weird page. Never liked this one. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. 
Trace hands. These are all my hands. This was the very last page I did, at which point I got kind of lazy. So I didn't do much to it. Yeah, I just wanted to finish it, that's why it's not that good. Oh my god. Oh, the smell! <laughs> oh god. Um, that's a horrible smell that comes from this page. It's kind of hard to see on camera because it's covered with plastic, it's all shiny. But this page said to document the substances in your home. Which I thought would be cool to glue in spices and create this landscape kind of thing. Um, yeah, I remember it falling out everywhere and it's smelling really bad. It still does. I, yeah, just just don't do this. Do your own book. It's, it's horrible. It will wreck it more though. So if that's what you're going for, by all means, then do it. Oh, yeah. Moving on. Moving on really fast. creative drawing oh okay so when I came back from the States I went from this to this I'm now back at this again but back then I had short hair and afterwards I found this really long hair which I glued in you're probably not able to see it but I glued a, glued in this very long hair and a small one from afterwards yep Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> I think I used a spoon. I think. I think. Oop, a little star came up. Um, yeah, I filled this page in when I was really angry. I, yeah, I even covered it up because I didn't want others to see it. I still don't. <laughs> I don't think I even want to read it again. I was really angry. I kind of cheated. The only thing I wrote with my left hand was this. So yeah, sorry. Wish I would have done more with this. Ooh, it's tearing apart. <laughs> oh, I love this space for negative comments and I got these mean characters saying mean stuff. You will never be the best. Rah. Yeah. Yeah, some four letter words. Actually, if you can see it, there's a page ripped out right here, which is the throw this page out. And I buried that page in a time capsule not my book time capsule in an actual time capsule which will be dug up in about 20 years I think um, so yeah I'll find that page again so I kind of cheated but kind of did I don't know I didn't give away my paper page. I couldn't. Um, so I kind of cheated this one too. But I just couldn't, you know? This is my book and I, I got some pages that are awesome. If I would have given away my favorite, I wouldn't have my my police do not cross page, I always call it. I wouldn't have that one anymore and I, you know, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Oh, I love this page. I used to be, and I still kind of am, obsessed with Taylor Swift, especially her lyrics. Um, and she has this song called Clean, and it says, The flowers that we'd grown together died of thirst. So I drew this dead flower and I 
corrupt it into the page as well. There are many secret messages in this book. I think at least five, so if you're able to find them, go ahead, good job. <laughs> but I don't think you are. I use mostly things like makeup and whatever, but I also use some other stuff like spices again because there weren't enough yet in this book. <laughs> but also saliva and coffee and sand and all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, this is the one you're supposed to attach together, these pages. So I made these little windows which say, think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy, which is a quote by Anne Frank. I've got a lot of quotes and stuff in here. If I would explain them all and, you know, I'd be here for at least an hour. Another page that I cheated, I didn't put that box here, but in my Rectus Journal in color, which will have another episode by Sunday, um, you'll see that I am going to put a dead bug in there, because this prompt comes back again and again, and I hate it. This time I have a cool idea, so look out for that. I did hide this page in my neighbor's yard, but I got it back after about 20 minutes because I was scared that they were going to find it. Those are pretty strict people, so I got it back as soon as I felt like it hiked out in their yard long enough. This is kind of a weird page which I feel like I need to explain. Um, the, so the lyrics that I wrote here are from The Hanging Tree from The Hunger Games and that explains the hanging man in The Hanging Tree. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. I don't like this page very much. Ugh. All these pennies. I sold this page to my mom. It's still in here because I didn't, you know, I don't know. I just sold her the rights to this page. And I glued in all these pennies, but most came off. I did slide the journal down a long hallway, but nothing really happened. So I drew some stuff, I added some leaves, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I, uh, this is one of my favorites again. I didn't come up with this girl. I've seen it many times on Pinterest. Um, but I really like this side too. I squirted liquid there with my mouth, mouth just like it says. And I'm kind of proud of even following the directions. And this is the last prompt, I think. I think. Yeah. So it says here I finished it March 19th, 2015, which means I finished it within a year. I thought I took much longer to finish it, but apparently I had enough with 10 months. <laughs> okay, so there's another pocket in here which I collected stuff. And then an uh, uh, anatomical heart with uh, the quote, nobody knows where they might end up, which is from Grey's Anatomy. One of my favorite shows. 
And then there's the back which has some random stuff. I did put my address on here, but I didn't mail this to myself because I would be so incredibly devastated if this got lost in the mail, so I didn't. So guys, I think that was all that was left to see about this Rector's Journal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you have not. Um, and also let me know in the comments down below what your favorite page was in my Rector's Journal. Um, I'd be really curious to know. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. Watch out for a new video on this Sunday and have an awesome day. Bye!